I'm going to do an exercise for American Mahjong using National Mahjong League rules. I call this exercise Charleston Sprints because I force myself to make quick decisions during the Charleston, which is half the game. One reason I like to do it is because when I play in a tournament, you play on a clock. And this kind of desensitizes you from that pressure. If you want to play in a tournament, give Charleston Sprints a try and let me know if it helps you feel more comfortable in a tournament. If you're new to Mahjong or if you already know how to play and just want to build your skills, consider subscribing to my channel. That way you won't miss anything. We're going to do three sprints. Laps one, three, and five will be the sprints. Laps two and four will be set up. I'm going to roll the dice each time to determine which seat we're in. This time I rolled a 10. Two, four, six, eight, 10 would be player two. So we're non-dealer, I'll get 13 tiles. And then I'm gonna create a mock Charleston with no jokers. Okay, here we go. I think I would leverage the nines. Somehow leverage the nines. Maybe even play a pair hand. Seven, eight, nine with news. We might be able to play a year hand or like numbers with nines. So by process of elimination, we have a pass. One of each suit. All right, here we have dragon. I'm kind of thinking like numbers with nines. I think I would give up on the year hand. Pass these. Flower. Okay, we have a six. Maybe we could play three, six, nine. Let's pass these three. There's a nine, eight, four east. That's not bad. Green, five, five. Okay, we have to make a choice. Like numbers with nines. We're on an obligatory cross pass. Let's break this up and pass these three. I try not to pass white dragons, but we've got a nice setup here, I think. Let's pass these three. There's a six. We could still go back to three, six, nine. Here's a red dragon. Still like numbers with nines, not bad. Let's pass these. We got a white back. Did I stop? Lap. Oh, I did. Okay, white dragon. I think this went pretty well for like numbers with nines. We could either do nine green, nine crack, so dot, bam, crack for the very first like number hand, or we could play the concealed one and hold these as joker bait. I'll have information below the video on joker bait. Basically, you discard one of these late in the game, maybe in the third wall, and then someone makes an exposure with flowers and a joker, and you can use your second one to take the exchange. So I have a video on that. I'll put a link below the video for that. It's a nice strategy. So we have three discards and joker bait for like numbers with nines. I think we went over though, we went over my, my goal is to do two minutes, under two minutes, and I went 16 seconds over. So we need to try to make quicker decisions here.
I rolled a nine, so we're gonna be the dealer. Player one. I'll get 14 tiles this time. I like to build around multiples, so I start here, five. Then I look at the rest of my tiles and I gather. I think consecutive run, three, four, five. Three, four, five are like numbers with fives. That would be all around that multiple. We could maybe do one through five. So let's pass these three. One, four, two, one through five, four, five. Let's give up the one, the eight, and a red. It's a little risky for year tiles. White. Okay, here we have a pair of twos and an eight. One through five, maybe that pair hand, or one, three, five consecutive run. Let's pass these three. One, three, five, not consecutive run. One, three, five, little odds. So there's a three, three, four, two, three, four, green. I don't think the green's going to help us. Let's break up the pair. Focus on one through five in dots. Green, two, three. Okay, let's see, two, Two, three, four. It doesn't matter. It's all risky. It's all very risky. Let's pass these three. There's a four. Ooh, here's let's keep that six. And here we can pass three. No keepers. We got tiles to pass. Okay, year tiles. I would get rid of those quick. I'd say if we can get a flower, we could play a pair hand. One through five with dragons. Fourth one down, if we can get that flower. We could either go two through six or one through five with the matching dragon. Or we could play one, three, five with the dragon. We have a gap, no flowers. Or we could play one through five consecutive run the very first hand and use these as joker bait. I don't think that was too bad actually. I'd be okay with that. If you would have done something different, write sprint two and what you would do. Let's go on to the last one. Rolled a five, so we're going to be the dealer again. Player one. Okay, for this one. We have a pair of fours and a pair of eights. Those are evens. So I think we should play evens. Two, four, six, eight. Just keep them all. You don't have to pick a hand till you run out of discards. Let's keep the red. We might be able to use it. Oh, I don't want to be left with like numbers. Sevens, break them up. There's an eight. We'll keep it. We have tiles we can pass here, break up that pair, maybe even pass these three. 
there's green and a flower. Keep all the tiles you could potentially use. 2468, maybe the 2468 pair hand. Let's pass these three. There's a two and a flower. Two tiles to pass. We need to pick a hand. Two, four, six, eight, four, eight. Let's give up the two. All you're doing is trying to find three tiles to pass. You can stop trying to pick a hand once you have those tiles identified. So we have two, six, eight, two eights and a pair of fours. I think I'd rather have the eights accounted for. Let's break up the pair of fours. There's a four. Oh, now I wish I had kept it. Let's see if we can get it back. Let's pass these three. Oh, look at that. We got one. Now, I would risk passing these two because we're playing a pair hand. One blind. We didn't get it back. But we're three away from a pair hand. We need a two dot, a four dot, and a four crack. That was a really good Charleston, this one. Really, really good. And one reason why I don't like to pass flowers. We got those from the Charleston pair hand. Let's see how things went with time. I think I went over on my time, but a couple of those were really good. One was a bit sketchy. Let's look at the time. So sprint one, two minutes, 16 seconds. Sprint two, I think I might have hit a button a couple times wrong. I'll double check my timing and put up a caption so you know exactly what my times were. I'll confirm. So I think sprint two, two minutes 21, and then sprint three was two minutes 23. So I went over with every one of them, <laughs> which is why I like to do the exercise. Everybody needs practice, even advanced players. Whether you're a beginner, intermediate, or advanced, try this exercise and let me know how it goes for you. As an advanced player, Try to make decisions in under two minutes. For an intermediate player, try under three minutes, and for a beginner, under four minutes. And then push yourself to make quicker and quicker decisions. The whole idea is to make quick decisions. Always keep an eye on your discard count though. Try to make decisions so you have four discards or less by the end of the Charleston. I would say that's a successful Charleston and a really strong start into the pick and discard phase of the game. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, consider subscribing. Click the little gray bell if you do, so you get notification for when I post new videos and you won't miss an opportunity to learn a new strategy or pick up an insight to the game that could give you an advantage at the table. Between now and the next Charleston Sprints for American Mahjong using National Mahjong League rules, may all your picks be keepers.